jayu. Why? Causes our time together. Really? Okay, if you say so, but no hanky panky, right? Oh, please, babe. Don't be ridiculous. We're married for God's sake. Plus, it has always been magical. Something that allows you to connect every morning before the outside world takes over. <laughs> Can I? Hey, babe. Hey. Who are you talking to in there? It's not my auntie, Gloria. That woman, she's just breathing down my neck over this father thing. Every day, every day, father, father, father. I don't know, man. But what if she's being honest with you? Are you joking? I'm serious. How can a shop girl like me? Just wake up one day and all of a sudden her real father is some millionaire who lives in a choice area in Lagos and he had never even bothered to, to, to get to know me or find me or even care if I existed. I beg, I don't I don't tire, I beg, I don't care anymore at this point. Uh uh, all this while I've been here, he's not even bothered. Are we in a, in a fairy tale movie? It never happens in real life, just in movies. Babe, listen, if you ask me, I would say you listen to her, right? Because it's not everybody that has a millionaire father, right? I, if I had a dad that wasn't even a millionaire that had some money, I know for a fact I wouldn't be doing this godforsaken job and my mother wouldn't be bedridden with ovarian cancer. Don't call it godforsaken. Eh, it puts food on our table. Yeah, right. 85,000 naira take home money. That's nothing. This job is the highest form of slavery. Don't worry, it'll get better. Just chill. Only if. You talk to your auntie. Just listen to her, okay? I'm not, I'm just... 
food is delicious, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Baby. Mm. I love smoking. <laughs> Your doctor will kill it. Kill me. Mm. Haven't you already killed me in a hurry? <laughs> hmm? I see. I suppose under the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you sure have a weird sense of humor. That's why you love me. <laughs> <laughs> because you're naughty. <laughs> well, honey, I have an urgent appointment at the office right now. So I just have to be on my way. Okay. So I'll see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love your outfit. I love you, <laughs> okay. So you have um, a great day? I guess I need one more kiss. Kiss, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Throw away all we've labored for. Larry, give it your best shot. You will not succeed. Ah, you broke the wrong part of me, Larry. You broke all my wings forgetting that I had claws. I curse you today. 
you will burn in hell. I have no place in my heart for you ever again. But you know what? The trunk of my car doors. I am Oge Briggs and my venom is incurable. What's up, uh -huh. I'm fine as you can see. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Because those eye bags, they're pretty huge. <laughs> okay. Blame it on 20 straight hours of sleep without interference. I know. <laughs> First lady of the bricks. <laughs> Tell me, what exactly do you want that you cannot get with a snap of a finger? This life you and your husband are living, eh? I only see it in Hollywood rom-coms. I want to be like you one day. <laughs> Funny enough, Venus. I know you cannot wait to taste this side of life. Even if it means burning bridges. <laughs> but one advice though. Remember, the crumbs can never, ever, ever be like the whole loaf. I don't understand you. How? Okay, I was joking. I'm kidding. Did you take me serious? You know me and my cynical talks. Yeah, I'm not ready for your sarcasm today, I beg. Anyway, I was around the neighborhood and I thought it'd be nice to, you know, just pop in and say hello to the first lady. I know. Mm. Venus, my mis thing. Hey, do you want to stay? You know I don't smoke before you. I'll do anything. I like it for you. <laughs> mm? I'll help myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is that another world spa? Okay. Dr. Thomas is Oge Briggs on the line. Um, I would like a home service. A massage. <sighs> oh, nothing. I can pay anything. <sighs> okay then. Um, so who is coming? Jason? Who is Jason? Oh, uh, no. Please, um, can you send me uh, one Usman? Yeah, Sule Usman. Yeah. Yeah, because I think he knows his onions in deep tissue massage. Okay, then. Fine. Thank you. And don't forget to send the company account details so I can make the transfer ASAP. Thank you. You know what? 
Why are you laughing? <laughs> you have a beautiful smile, by the way. Why are you laughing? Yeah, I don't know. Just... <sighs> uh, I just thought it was funny. I know inside you're laughing even louder than that because <laughs> I know you fell in love with me because I'm so funny. I'm like the funniest person you know. Um, yeah, but that's not the only reason why I fell in love with you. Okay, so what are the other reasons? I don't know. Oh, my boss. What's wrong? Oh, uh, hello, sir. When? Uh, yeah, just send the address. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. Yeah. No, no, no. What happened? No. What happened? It's my... They say I have to... Ah. You have to do what? I have to go massage somebody around the clock now. Get some rich clients or whatever. Uh, well, home service, that's mega box now. You don't get it, do you? What? I'm supposed to be off today. It's my off day. I'm supposed to spend it with you. Quality time with my beautiful girlfriend. And now this. Uh, these people are really overworking me. Uh, it's okay now. You know, you know how these home services are. Uh, but listen, that's, this is like... Mega box for you, and you're also going to get Christmas bonus, aren't you? You want me to kill myself because I'm working because of Chris Christmas bonus? Like, uh, babe, listen, it's a tedious job, very tedious. I'm on my feet for most of the time. My hands hurt. It's okay. Like my hands literally hurt. And I know. Sorry, but stop complaining. You have to get to work now. It's we not easy. We need the money. Uh, Can you get up now? <sighs> Doing this for you. I know. I need that money. So, are you ready? Ah, uh, yes. Then lie down. You seem to be quite in a hurry. Not really, ma'am. I'm sure you know, allowing someone touch you 
in places your father or brother wouldn't. That'd be quite arousing. Well, it's all in your head, man. It's just to relax your senses, okay? Prepare with that in mind. So, is there any part of your body that needs special attention? Anything you're dealing with? I don't know. Just be yourself. Okay. So, I'll start with your legs. Why are you stubborn, Dami? So stubborn like your mother. Auntie, please just leave my late mom out of this. I beg, let the dead be. And you should also let the living live too. I have told you. I have told you several that your father wants to set his eyes on you. And you've brushed it off your shoulder with your attitude. Dami Larry, what has come over you? Do you think this sales girl thing you are doing can put food on your table? For how long is it going to sustain you? Do you know how old you are? Auntie, please, please don't talk about my job like that. Uh -uh. Job that I suffer to get. You won't even help me get a job and now I get one and this is what you talk about it. You just rubbish it. It's not fair now. My child, I am not trying to insult your job. And I know I couldn't get you a befitting job. But you know now, you know that I am just a secondary school teacher. You know how I've been striving to survive. You know how hard it has been for me and my family. Even before you moved out, we barely eat three square meal in a day, Damilari. Okay. See, please, Damilari. I know it may not be your mother's wish, but. Every child deserves to know his or her real father. And you also deserve to meet your father so you can get this fatherly love from him. You can't be missing out on both. Your mother is late. I know how much we suffered while growing up in Edo State. I don't want that fate for you. You are a very young girl and you have a very bright future ahead of you. And your father is here to help you do these things. He's here to make things easier for you. Please, can you consider him? Please. If not for my sake, for the first sake of your late mother, please, Dami Larry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I've heard you, eh? Please. Don't cry again. It's okay. Please, Dami, please. It's okay. I will meet with him. I I'll meet with him. I'll meet with him. Oh, really? I don't want to buy well. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, my baby. Oh, so, thank you for a job well done. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I did. You're from the north? Yes, uh, Jada Adamoa State to be precise. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Aiki. Lafia Nagode. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
you know, my maternal grandmother was from the north. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Her name is Laraba, and she likes to call me Ladi. Oh, yeah. Means uh, a female child born on Sunday. Oh, uh, uh, exactly. She said I was born on Sunday. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how long have you been doing this job, massage? Oh, yeah. I've been doing it for two years, on and off, you know. I know meeting a lot of people in the course of this job will give you some level of freedom, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a job where uh, interpersonal skills and, and, and self-confidence comes to play, you oh. know? Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. You know, I never really knew that people can make a decent living doing this kind of job. Uh, <laughs> well, I never gave you much thought when I first started out, you know, but it's over time it started paying a bit, you know, but it doesn't give me an enormous sense of satisfaction, you know, but my condition make a fish ben, as they say, you know, so as a man, you have to have something out there, you know. Yeah, okay. So invariably, you can do anything for a higher pay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a hustler. You know, I'll do anything for more money, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, uh, here is a check for you. For me? Yeah, for a oh. job well done. 150000 there. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I know this is an added tip because you already paid through our agency, so I really do appreciate this. Thank you. And this one. Another check. Uh, five million naira. Whoa. You said you can do anything for higher pay. Right? I want you to kill my husband. What? No. I Ma'am, I've pictured myself as many things, but definitely not a killer. can do that. You said you can do anything. Look. You said you can do everything for money. Yeah. This is an opportunity. Do you know what five million would do for an eight, five thousand paying job? It will change your life. For good. And of course, it will help with your ailing mother, who is back in Andamawa, suffering ovarian cancer. You know my exact take-home pay, and you know about my mother's predicaments. What are you, are, you, are you a detective? My name is Dr. Mrs. Oge Briggs. I have a myriad of responsibilities, which also include running background checks. <laughs> you see, when my bitch switch was flipped, I ran a background check on my husband. And what I found was very reverting. You see this woman here? is a woman's scorned. This woman standing before you is a woman that her heart has been shattered. So, are you game or you want to still think about it? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do this. I'm so sorry, okay? I, 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 it's too much to do for a favor, you know? I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't fall my hands with blood. I'm so sorry. I cannot do this. Okay? No, seriously, you're going to do this? I... Opportunity knocks but once. Your mother is at the brink of death back in Adamawa. Are you going to allow her to die because you're... Chicken hearted and lily livered. No. <laughs> Suleiman Usman. Brace up to this. Act fast and grab this box. Offers like this don't come cheap. much 
in here. Hold it. Here, in here, is all the things you need to know about him. Is in here. Everything. Plus, a PSS, a silent pistol. You know, I have magnanimously provided you with a tool. So, act fast. Remember, my account officer will not release that money without my confirmation. And that is when you have successfully carried your job out. Thank you. Kiss your face, not some mask, okay? Hmm. <laughs> You're not serious. Look at me, the beauty is good from within. It's sure enough for me. Hmm. And actually, I want to spend the best part of my life with you. And I hope that I can live that worthy of you every day of my life. I love you too. <laughs> you know you're very silly, but it's working on me. <laughs> See, babe, we can't keep this baby. You know we don't have the money for it. What do you mean by we can't keep this baby? If you don't want this baby, I do. Besides, it's a collective decision here. Okay, reason with me now. Eh? Reason with me, we both don't have the money. Really? What are your fears, Larry? Tell me. Kids are the expression of love couples share. And I want to experience the joy of motherhood here. If it's about money, it will come. We will get through this. See. This is my decision, and it's final. We are not keeping this baby. Really? I've made my decision, and it's final. We can't keep this baby. I've told you, that's it. Okay, 
please stop crying. You know I'm here for you. We're in this together. See, I, I, I know that I'm not nice here or do now. I can take away your pain. You know nothing. You know absolutely nothing, Larry. How can I be alive and write a goodbye letter to my interests? How do I survive from this? You've literally killed me. I'm really sorry, Ogi. <laughs> I'm, I'm hot as well. I'm very sorry. You're hot. Did you just say you are hot? Look, I'm a broken woman for life. How do I escape from the societal pressure of childbearing? How do I face the stigma? If only you allowed me to keep this one, I wouldn't have lost my hope. I will never leave you, you know that. You know I will never leave you. <laughs> Today? Yeah, yeah, it went very fine, fine. Are you sure you're okay? Yes! <laughs> I'm, I'm great, I'm just happy to see you. Yeah. Did you get paid well? Paid was good. It was good? It was good. Yeah, so nice to see you. You're okay? Yes! Kayla, we need to take a break. Okay. 